only three inches long, young Pip faces many hungry predators in her new world. By instinct not fully understood by scientists, Pip swims toward her new home many miles offshore in the Sargasso Sea. The Sargassum seaweed provides important cover from predators. And the increase of Sargassum seaweed also means an increase in food. She will spend the next 10 or so years of her life growing up to three feet long and 200 pounds. Now with her increased size, her only natural predators are large sharks. Pip will now travel the long journey back toward the beach from which she came. How she knows where to go and how to get there is not fully understood, but researchers have shown that loggerhead turtles respond to the Earth's magnetic field. She is not the only turtle to have made the long journey, and she, along with other turtles, will spend the next 20 years growing into an adult in a relatively shallow area along the coast. Now, at reproductive age, she finds a suitable mate. About two weeks later, Pip emerges from the ocean she has called home for the past 30 years to dig her first nest. There she lays upwards of 100 eggs to begin the next generation of sea turtles. Pip then returns to the shallows where she will mate up to six more times, depositing hundreds and hundreds of eggs by the end of the summer. After 50 to 60 days, the turtles are fully developed and begin to hatch from their leathery, golf ball-sized eggs. The hatchlings will wait below the surface of the sand until the temperature drops, signaling nightfall. Under the cover of darkness, when their predators are less active, they will emerge from the nest and make their trek to the ocean. Those that escape their predators will swim to the Sargasso Sea, just as Pip did 30 years before. A journey that has been repeated by countless generations of loggerheads. <laughs>